Uvalde High School. Once again with you is Mr. Castillo, the proud principal of Uvalde High School. Uh, and with me today, I have an excellent guest. We have Mr. Charles Black, our ag teacher here at the UHS. Mr. Black, good afternoon, sir. Hello, I'm glad to be here. I'm excited about the things that are happening here at Uvalde High School. Well, thank you for joining us. And that's exactly what we're here to, to do. We're talking about the exciting things that are going on with FFA. So, What's new in FFA, that's the Future Farmers of America? Yeah. What's, what's good about our Ag Chapter here is we're, we're really excited that we have some great students that have enrolled in our program. In years past, our program has not been as big, but this year we, we have over 200 members, which is wow. a tremendous increase from last year. Up, and we had to beg and plead to get everybody we could to get 100 members. <laughs> well, we practically doubled it, huh? Yes. Well, good, good. Um, so I know that you teach uh, ag mechanics, right? What is that all about? Uh, mostly what we focus on here is the uh, welding aspect of ag mechanics. We focus a lot of that on getting those kids some hands-on opportunities. You know, we get to teach life skills and not many places in the high school that can offer those life skills. But, you know, we feel like ag science is everything we do is a life skill that'll go with them forever. Whether they're just gonna be a homeowner, a rancher, or anything else, or they can pursue those into career goals. Now, uh, if a student's in, in your ag mechanic class, they have the option or the opportunity to get a certification, right? A welding certification? Yes, through American Welding Society, we do offer a level one welding certificate to those students who want to pursue that. All right, so if any student is interested in, in becoming a welder one day, this is a perfect opportunity, right? That's exactly right. We focus on the welding aspect of it, but you know, there's so many things that they learn from that. Eye-hand coordination, uh, staying on task, building something, those are all life skills. Practically everything you can think of when it comes to agriculture, right? Mm -hmm. And then some. Mm -hmm. So uh, speaking of agri agriculture, I know that uh, Last year we had a rodeo PE class. Do we still have that? Yes, we still offer a rodeo PE class for those students that are interested in that aspect or that recreational activity that they can uh, focus on. And you know, I say recreational, it can also go into a scholarship opportunity, much like my daughter uh, went through and uh, graduated and went through uh, all the way through a master's program with oh, wow. a rodeo scholarship. So those are opportunities, but there's also an interest for kids to, to participate in something and be a part of something. Okay, good, good. Now, do uh, you undertake all of these things on your own, or do you have a partner? Or? You know, we're very fortunate here at Uvalde that uh, we, we have a, I have a new partner, Miss Haley Dalrymple, has joined her uh, this year, and she's a graduate of Uvalde High School. She understands and, and has a real buy-in to our program and is excited about the opportunity to, to expand the, the things that we do. She kind of focuses more on animal science, the, okay. the pure agriculture part of it, where uh, they're going Thursday to a land judging contest, and they went to one, I think it's two Saturdays ago, and they were fourth out of, you know, almost 20 teams. So we're real excited about those opportunities our students are getting. That's right. Uh, that land judging contest is one of the most practical contests we have. They study soil permeability, depth of the top soil, the slope, you know, all those things that, that, that will carry on to further in life. So you mentioned uh, uh, student competitions. What other competitions are coming up? Here at the youth. You bet. We have one that's really exciting, but also one of the things that we're doing, we, we focus real hard on leadership contests. And last year we had a lot of success in our leadership contest. We hope to do that again. Well, last year uh, we advanced to the almost, I think three of our teams were district champions and they all went on to the area contest and we, missed, right. and we missed going to state by just one one spot. So those, those are exciting things that are happening. But, but, but it also lends itself to making opportunities for students. And we kind of last year we joined a, an association called the Texas High School Barbecue Association. And we have a group of students that have competed and qualified for state. But what is really outstanding is we were chosen this year to host one of the regional state qualifiers events here in Uvalde at Uvalde High School. A regional qualifier. So that means that they, they win this, our competition, they'll get to go on to state, right? That's correct. The top uh, teams, and, and it's listed in the rules and stuff, that that participate here. You know, we expect at least 40 teams or high school teams to be here. 
and, and they will have the opportunity to invest in a state competition based on their results here That's at Uvalde fantastic. High School. It, it's just a neat deal to see those kids get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and start stoking the <laughs> fire. And, and it, like I said, it just lends itself to lifelong activities. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Most definitely, especially around here. Yeah. I know I'm a big barbecue enthusiast and yeah. a lot of people that I know. So that, that's a life skill in itself, right? Yes, it is. So now, are we the only ones in South Texas to to be able to host such a regional meet? Yes, we were chosen from a, from a, I don't know quite the numbers, but we were chosen as the only uh, regional qualified event uh, in South Texas. In South Texas, in that region. That's fantastic, sir. I mean, nothing but good things coming out of UHS, and especially the the uh, uh, Ag Science uh, Department. So, yes, and, um, we, and we look at ourselves as a department and we try to, there's an opportunity for all students, whether your focus is ag mechanics, animal science, barbecue, we have a spot for you. And just like uh, we said earlier, our growth has just been tremendous because of the enthusiasm I think that my teaching partner and myself have for seeing opportunities for students to excel. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us today, Mr. Black. and. Uh, before we leave, I always ask our guests, how do the loyal and true show that we believe in the you? We always rep the you. Rep the you.